This is Grave Confessions from the Grave Talks. Daily, raw, real, and disturbing accounts of the living, interacting with the dead. To share your grave confession, experience with the paranormal, supernatural, or the undead, call toll-free 888-GHOST-13. That's 888-446-7813. Now, today's grave confession. My name is Susan. I live in Arizona. I've called before, um, but I'm calling now because I did go on an actual ghost hunt last night um, with a group of ghost hunters at a place called the the Sunkissed um, Production Factory. It, it no longer is in use. Um, it's located in Mesa, Arizona, but they did a ghost hunt last night. And um, I'm, I'm a very sensitive, empath, uh, psychic person. And I didn't see anything right away. And, but I, they told us the story of a woman that actually got, who died there. And for some reason, she, she clung to me and I felt her anger and I felt her her so to the point where she was telling me her story saying to me that she was sexually assaulted by the boss of that plant and that he murdered her and he made it look like it was an accident and I could feel her anger and her rage to such a degree that I literally had to leave the plant, go outside the plant to get air because she was very angry at this person who took her her life. Um, And she hates men. And I believe she hates men, not only because of what the boss did, but also because this is a plant where they hired illegal immigrants. And of course, these illegal immigrants, of course, would be scared to lose their job, would be scared to report anything because they would not want to be deported. So they kept their mouth shut. So I think she's angry. I got the sense that she's angry at them because they did nothing, even after her death, to uh, avenge her her rape and and murder um and it really left me really upset shaken i couldn't drive home my husband had to drive home uh it was awful um they they can't eat according to them uh, they can't find a lot of the paperwork to this place you know, of all the the the, the murders, the, the deaths, whatever, the, the, they're they're having a hard time finding this paperwork. And their excuse, they said that um, the, the people that own this plan at one time gave this paperwork to some student at ASU, and and the ASU students never brought it back to them, which I know without a doubt is BS. And um, I know they're going to have a horrible, hard, if, if, if impossible time finding the truth behind this. But it, I felt her. In fact, on the way home, we made a quick stop at a grocery store to buy a candy bar. And the car went off. The lights went off. The horns went off. Everything. Not, not, there was not this car my car has never done this before and yet I just opened my car door and the alarm went off the the lights went off everything when, when we finally got it to stop it, we drove home 
And no sooner did we get home, I just opened up the door again, get out of the car to open up the garage door, and the car went off again, and the alarms went off, and the, it, it, and it was like if something followed us home, even though I had them put stage around me and my husband, it felt like something still came with us. Um, so I'm really trying to figure out what's going on, but something's going on. This has been a grave confession. From the Grave Talks. To share your grave confession experience with the paranormal or the undead, call toll free 888 Ghost 13. That's 888 446 7813.